Hi everybody, it is February 26, 2019. I posted this video, Jordan Peterson, Enlightenment is Truth. And, well, anybody who knows me, they would have known why I posted this. Truth. Living honestly, speaking honestly, having honest relationships. And it is the only way to get out of the nightmare that we are living. That's it. No, it's simple. It's really simple. Live honestly and speak honestly. And without that happening, then we are doomed. We are literally doomed. A lot of people have this notion, I think, that it's only the mainstream media reporters who lie. It's only government officials who lie. It's only the sick psychopaths, the narcissists who lie. They are the ones who are creating all of the hell that we are living. That is not true. It is all of us. All of us. And the truth is so unbelievably demanding, it requires so much attention, time, effort to understand the truth, to really get to the truth. If you have not done any work to get to your own truth, you will be a liar. You may not want to be, but you will be. Because if you don't understand your own truth, you do not understand anyone else's truth. And you may spit out information that is just a presumption about someone. And details are really important. Now, when you have facts that, well, create pause, for thought about an individual. Let's say it's one fact and all the other facts that you have about that individual. Well, for ease of, um, for ease, for me, you have all of these other facts that are good and then one fact that's bad and you allow that one fact to trample over all the other facts that are good you're not about truth you're making a presumption about someone you're degrading all of their work based on that one fact I have for a very very long time eight years now that I've been on YouTube and it was eye-opening because I realized oh my god uh, there are so many people who are not on the same page I really fully understood how awakening it is a process the term awake is such a misnomer I wondered and thought about what makes the difference between those who are awake, quote unquote, misnomer, but those who at least have grasped some of the reality that we are living, compared to those who will not grasp any reality, and they will continue to choose willful ignorance, and it is a choice. What makes that difference? I don't know. I can speculate all day long, but I don't know. How is it that someone can be, quote unquote, awake to, let's say, 9-11, and then consider everything else a conspiracy theory, like uh, the geoengineering, the chemtrails, or uh, depopulation, um, vaccines, you know, how is it that one 
individual in their brain they have taken in that our government was involved with 9-11 that the Israelis were a real big part of the bringing down of the World Trade Centers and how is it that they're aware of that but their brain does not allow them to go to depopulation and all of the methods that they are using to literally poison us and kill us. I don't know. What's the block there? I don't know. But I have seen an awful lot of people who are very aware of uh, particular conspiracies and they have a closed mind to other conspiracies. But is it a closed mind? I don't know, unless I know the person. Is it that they have received an awful lot of information that counters official narratives about agendas and on a particular agenda, they've not received that information, which in my mind is a little hard to believe, but well, am I basing that on my experience? Yes, of course. So I don't know what the experience is of everybody in the cyber world. So I always keep that in mind. Okay, so Jordan Peterson, I got this comment. Um, and I'm sticking with my response to it. Um, Jordan Peterson is a Zionist agent that helped write Agenda 21, joined the CAA, promotes the use of psychotropic drugs, loves Harry Potter books. Well, you know, Jordan Peterson uh, certainly is someone who does a lot of reading and, uh, you know, the Harry Potter books, I've seen other people kind of delve into them and extract out uh, myths and, and uh, they use it, you know, as analogies or um, myth construction and deconstruction. So that he, that he loves Harry Potter books, you have to read this comment and think to yourself, does he love Harry Potter books? Is it part of his uh, tools to educate, to teach? Um, what is that? That little, you got to parse out comments and the parsing, okay, so you get loves Harry Potter books. Does that mean he's a bad person? Or a good person. No, it doesn't mean anything, actually. Um, it just means that he has read and I guess has, um, you know, spoken of Harry Potter books. So that means nothing. Um, the use of psychotropic drugs promotes the use of psychotropic drugs. Well, there's an awful lot of people who have um, spoken about psychotropic drugs and how they can uh, be a tool to, well, for lack of you know any better word, enlightenment uh, and understanding of self. Uh, we understand that that is absolutely um, spoken about by a lot of people. So what what you know that that there parsing out this comment, promotes the use of psychotropic drugs. It almost sounds like, hey, just use those drugs to get high. Well, I don't believe that that is true about Jordan Peterson. Um, it's probably in line with what he speaks about a lot. Enlightenment, uh, getting to the truth of your own self, so, you know, you've got to read things and then 
if you're going to consider it, you've got to consider every thing that's possible, which takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. It's easy to just make presumptions about people. It's, e it's lazy. It, you're so not about the truth if that's what you're doing. And if you want to be about truth and you actually care about Jordan Peterson and this comment, then you've got to spend some time really thinking about each little um, thing that is said about Jordan Peterson in this very short comment. Now, I don't. what is the CAA? Um, I'm not sure. Let me check it out. I'm not entirely sure. It could be the um, Creative Artist Agency. Well, okay, so if that's the case, well, I don't... Maybe the CAA is something else, all right? Well, what I'm concerned about is not Jordan Peterson. What I'm concerned about is the individual getting to their truth because that is the crux right there of our problem and our solution. You've got to get to your own truth. And Jordan Peterson has said a lot of very um, poignant things about truth, the individual's truth, not lying, developing healthy relationships, and that is my focus. Not Jordan Peterson, but what he is saying. And I'm sorry that so many people are really stuck in the personality instead of the truth of the information that you're hearing. A Zionist agent, I there's no evidence of that. Um, but if you want to believe that because, and apparently, and I wrote this, let me, I'll read you my response. I'm not taking it down. I have said so often in my years of posting on YouTube, if you are going to write things about people that can influence other people, you better put evidence. Give us the evidence of your claims. And, well, what I say doesn't matter. I am tired of getting comments like this where you have no evidence of the claim. And that is lazy and it's wrong. It's just wrong. So, my, and I am losing patience. I am absolutely losing patience. So I wrote, provide evidence of your claims. If you don't provide that evidence quickly, I will know you are a liar and your comment will be removed. Yes, you can lie not even knowing that you're lying. And how many people do that? A whole lot. Why do they do that? Because they don't think clearly, because they're lazy, because they don't take the time to provide the evidence. They just shoot out these claims about people. Why am I upset about this? Because it destroys trust. It destroys trust. When you find that there is somebody who, let's say, well, for me, okay, Jordan Peterson, um, there, there's an awful lot about Jordan Peterson, a lot of videos on YouTube, Jordan Peterson. He, he's a man who thinks. He is absolutely a man who thinks. And one of the reasons why I have posted Jordan Peterson videos is because I want everyone to think. I want everyone to think. And really think about what, what is the message that is being communicated here. 
the message that's communicated in this video is that it's really very simple to change the world. But you've got to change. You, individually, you all have to change. You've got to change your behavior. And the only way that you can do that is to understand your behavior. So what we have, and I've seen this for eight years, what we are not doing is incorporating the full truth. And if you can't incorporate the full truth, then you're not about truth. You're not yet on that road of truth. If you are just looking at the truth of what is happening to us collectively and ignoring the truth of you individually, you're not on the road of truth yet. Because the most important, the most important truth is your own. So when you get to face the truth about yourself, then you begin to understand why you behave the way you behave. And you have an opportunity then to change that behavior. If that behavior causes harm in any way, you have the opportunity then because you have awareness of your behaviors. And if you don't start first with lying, how do I lie? You might not be an outright liar, but you may still be living a pretense. Or you may be out in the world behaving in ways to get approval from everybody. And uh, if you don't understand what's behind that, what makes one go out into the world and put a mask on and live a pretense. You know, how often do you hear people say to you, ask you, how are you? And then you just robotically say, oh, I'm fine. You know, that mask that we wear has to come off. It has to come off because you're living a disintegrated life. You're out in the world portraying your, your made up, your constructed persona. And then when you are not around people, the mask comes off. The mask needs to come off 24 seven. And when you live that pretense, you're lying to the world. You are lying to the world. And we will never get anywhere lying to the world. The first step is to look at how we lie, to really think about how we think and how we speak and what we are saying and be very careful and deliberate and as precise as we can be. Can anybody be perfect? No, but we've got to try always, always. And as we begin, yeah, it takes an awful lot of effort and a lot of time and a lot of energy because we're exercising um, muscles that we've never exercised before. So yeah, when you first get out and start running and you're like, oh God, you just want to stop, but you don't stop because you, you have an agenda, you have a goal, a, an objective, you want to exercise, you've got to keep at it. Well, the same is true with truth. So you've got to exercise the awareness muscle. You're aware of what you are saying. You are aware of how you are behaving. Without that awareness, you can't know anything and you will just be in the world behaving in ways that ultimately will hurt and harm other people if you don't have any awareness. And yeah, it does. It really is exhausting. We want to go just for those tidbit, you know, pieces of information on someone and then presume, you know, it's like a tsunami of presumptions about 
this person. He is a globalist. He's a uh, Zionist. He's a, um, you know, whatever your presumption is. He's bad. He's bad. You know, Christians uh, so often, you know, I've, I've got, he's a new ager. Oh my God. Um, you know, the truth is sacrosanct. Okay. So anybody speaking that it doesn't matter if they're a Jew, a Christian, a, a, a Buddhist, an atheist, if they are focused on truth, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong. So I did get someone to leave me. Where is that? Huh. All right. Interesting. I don't see their comment here. Um, what is going on? Let me see if I can find it here. Okay. Oh, Shadow Radio. I'm sorry. Blogspot. Eminent person. And it might be here. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. So I clicked on that link. Eminent person. Jordan Peterson. Um, new global partnership. Eradicate poverty. Transform e economies through sustainable development. So there was an interview with Jordan Peterson, and I will link below. Uh, and where is it? Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Where is it? I will link below to it. Um, what the interview what he says as he is, you know, just stating who he is and what he's about and what he's accomplished. And one of the things that he does state is that uh, he worked on the Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Um, let me read this. Sorry, there's a lot of noise outside and I'm getting a little distracted. All right. Uh, so hang on. Okay, I apologize. What he stated in the very, very beginning of the interview was, I'm a media whore, you know. All right. Well, we don't know. Uh, what's behind that statement? Maybe he is, um, or or maybe he was just you know being facetious. I don't know, but he also goes on to say, clinical psychologist, University of Toronto, clinical practice, business consultant, executive coaching, uh, yada yada yada, um, and I designed a program called Future Authoring that has helped seven thousand university students improve their grades. I worked on the United Nations Secretary General's High Panel for Sustainability report that was delivered, I believe, in 2013, and uh, rewrote the underlying narrative to strip out most of the ideological claptrap. Okay, so that, and I thanked my uh, subscriber for leaving that information. Talk to Deb. Uh, it's always a jolt for me to see that somebody could be attached to something that is a very dangerous, evil agenda and be talking about the truth. You know, yes, it's a jolt. And it did give me pause for thought. So what it means is pause for thought means you think about that. Okay, so um, you know 
I have posted a lot on Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, sustainability, yada, yada, yada. So, what do you do when someone is part of this evil agenda, when they actually talk about evil and they, they actually give you ways to get out of that evil, and the truth is that that person talking about getting out of the evil is, number one, talking about your highest priority is to get to be a truthful, honest individual. All right, well, you've got to think. What's going on here? I don't know. There are an awful lot of people around the world who believe that global warming, climate change um, is happening based on the information that they have. When you present to them information that counters that, very often you'll get a closed mind. Why is the mind closed when they see so much reality, but they're closed to that? There's so many reasons that one could speculate. The closed mind could be overwhelm. I've taken in too much for my life. I have way too much information in my head. I can't go there. Now, I understand when that happens to me. So I don't have to say, um, all right, flat earth. I haven't checked it out. But I've said this. I have not checked it out. Therefore, I am not posting on it. It doesn't mean that I'm some shill because I'm not posting on the flat earth. I have stated my truth. I can't go there. My head is too full. And frankly, for me, I don't care. Round or flat, I care about what is happening on Earth. So could that be what's happening with Jordan Peterson? I don't know. I don't know him. So I'm not going to just throw out a presumption as fact that he's a globalist because he has worked on the... Uh, with the United Nations on sustainability. I can't go there because the truth is actually what guides me. It's not my uh, respect or love or like or what I don't love or I don't even like. It's not about that. Um, it is simply about the truth. So because I have exercised those muscles to get me to a place now where it is, it's just automatic. I can't make presumptions. I don't know this person. I don't know why um, they are believing in climate change or global warming. Um, but he also states very clearly that, you know, there's something up with this global warming business. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, so this is the interview um, where he's stating that he contributed to the United Nations Sustainability Report. Um, but here he talks about climate change and global warming. Um, and he doesn't talk about it as a fanatic. And he makes a lot of very good points about, mm, well, the United Nations, they've come up with all of these goals that are ludicrous, and he's um, critical of this uh, sustainability climate change business. But he's not saying that they're using climate change, global warming, to unite the world so that they can you know, uh, reshape the world for the elite's pleasure. The other um, comments here. D he dissuades young men from opposing the neoliberal world order. Here, 
They're saying Peterson is New World Order. He is not New World Order. But I guess because he worked on the high panel for sustainability and contributed to the report, then you're going to go with he is New World Order. That's lazy thinking. And that's dangerous thinking because you're making a judgment about someone that influences an awful lot of people. You come out and say things about them, but you don't know if they're true. So if you don't know if they're true and you just spew them out, well, what are you doing then? You're de uh, denigrating a human being based on your own presumption. Very unfair, harmful, hurtful behavior. And if you're not aware of the presumptions that you make and these leaps that you make, oh, sustainability report, he has uh, uh, contributed you know, to that report, he's been um, working with the United Nations, boom, that's it. Then you have created an entire narrative about someone you don't even know but you're not even aware of that narrative that shoots off in your head. So if you don't have the awareness, if you're not really thinking about your thinking and how it works, you don't have an awareness of the things that you communicate, you are going to be part of the problem and not part of the solution. Um, Jordan Peterson there's nothing that Jordan Peterson has said to dissuade young men from opposing the neoliberal world order. You find me where he is dissuading young men because oh, he has spoken quite a lot about the importance of not uh, just eliminating masculinity. In fact, what he talks of is how men have to embrace the responsibility of what it means to be a man. Not this neoliberal uh, New World Order bullshit that we are hearing. He's very against it. Um, and another bit I read here, exposing Peterson as a pro-open borders United Nations globalist. Go for it. I have not, I didn't really go into it to research his connections with John Podesta. Uh, I have not been able to find anything. If anybody has, then just, you know, give us the evidence. Pro-open borders United Nations globalist when he has in fact stated this. Borders are reasonable. How about that? All right. Uh, not wanting this to go on and on. You can listen to this. Uh, so, it really is very, very, very important that we all individually think about our thinking Get it clear, accurate, speak as precisely as you can to capture the truth. Yes, it is incredibly demanding. It's no, this is the hardest thing one can ever do. The hardest truth is your own truth. And once individuals in the aggregate can get to a place where they are speaking honestly, living honestly, the world would radically change. So that is my objective in posting videos. And I'm sorry that there are so many people who get, oh my God, it's Jordan Peterson, or oh my God, it's, it's uh, 
Alex Jones. Oh, I cannot believe Mark Passio. He's he's a Satanist. And how could you possibly post on Mark Passio? Well, Mark Passio very clearly and honestly spoke of being a satanic priest. He moved beyond that. There's an awful lot of people who believe, I guess, people never change. Well, it's your choice to not change. But people do change. The very serious people who really do regard truth as the most important. It is fundamental to life, non-truth fundamental to death and destruction. Truth, as far as I'm concerned, is Jesus Christ. It is God. And if that is not your guiding principle, then nothing else matters. But if that is your guiding principle, and I understand why people don't choose it to be their guiding principle, because it is so incredibly demanding. And boy, do you get beat up. You get beat up. You get beat up by so many who just don't understand or don't want to understand. They don't want to take on the truth fully because of how demanding it is. But once you get there, you can't let it go. It kind of takes hold of you. It won't let you go. And you become secondary to it. And that is what propels you out of personality and into principle. That is what stops you from communicating your presumptions as facts. And that is what really remarkably allows you to begin to fully understand all of those behaviors you had in the past, the truth. Well, you've got to face all of that. You have to face that, yeah, you were the one who was claiming that you cared and you were compassionate and it was bullshit because you were on that low level of consciousness. And when you did finally do the work, you see the bullshit you lived. And then you get real. And you understand then that without the individual doing that work, we will get nowhere. Nowhere. Because you then see how many people are trapped in that low level of consciousness that is ego driven. It's all about the self. Oh, you tell yourself a good game, but self deception is the hardest deception to break through. It's necessary, absolutely necessary. So he talks about enlightenment and he talks about it in simple terms. You live honestly, you speak honestly, and you do good. Do, do. You, your objective is to try to reduce the unnecessary suffering in the world. Part of that means that you speak honestly honestly to people. You do not lie to people because your lies cause suffering to other people. They are dangerous. This is no, you know, this should not be taken lightly at all. You stop lying. You stop living a lie. And when you get further down that road, you cannot, you can't, it's no longer a choice. You cannot continue to contribute to the evil, even if you're just a cog in the wheel that allows the evil to just spin on, destroy more and more people every day. You can't contribute to it. Yeah, that's why it's a danger. 
That's why it's a real threat to your existence as it is now. But if you want to be someone who is about the truth, who is taking everything seriously, and if you want to be part of the solution, then that is mandatory. Mandatory. It is mandatory that you look at yourself. You understand how you contribute. And you say you can't contribute anymore. What does that mean for an awful lot of people? Well, it pulls you from living that satanic lifestyle. But if you are someone who's just going to continue living that satanic lifestyle, the cog in the wheel that allows the evil to continue, don't fool yourself. Admit that. Admit that truth. Because that will put you on the road. Very difficult work. Absolutely necessary to create a better world. If you don't do that work, you're not creating a better world. And I agree with Jordan Peterson. I agree with Mark Passio. This whole notion of being good and decent. We like to tell ourselves how good we are when we're, when, when we're not. We're not. You may not be horrible and bad and evil and all that, but you're not good. Yet. And it is a choice. Do you want to be good? If you do, then you will face yourself. You will look into the dark side of yourself. You will engage that shadow. You will do the work necessary to actually become good. And that manifests in the actions that you take, how you behave in the world, your actions on a daily basis. It doesn't, it, it, you can call yourself good, but if you're not, if you're not acting in ways to minimize the suffering in the world, sorry. And yes, considering the mess the world is in, that requires each and every one of us to take those actions every single day. Every day. Oh, it's exhausting, yes. But if you don't, then you are about yourself and just maintaining your own comfort. Don't lie to yourself anymore. So, Again, I'm going to say, understand this. I am about truth. Does it mean that I get everything right? No. Does it mean that that is my focus always? Absolutely. Do I live as honestly as I possibly can in this world? Yes. Does it mean that I don't slip up? No. But... Does it also mean that I take responsibility for when I slip up? Yes, I have to. It's not about me getting your approval. It's not about me um, hiding. You know, when I get it wrong, I've got to hide it because I've got to appear perfect to you. Uh-uh, no, no. Because the truth demands that you be honest. So you do become secondary. Your ego is secondary to the truth. What we see, most people, their ego is primary. That's the problem that we're engaged in. And there's an awful lot of quote-unquote awake people 
who are absolutely on that low level of consciousness. They're about themselves. They're about their own ego. They defend themselves. They are not about truth. They like to believe they are, but that's their own persona that they've got going on in their own mind about themselves. They've constructed an unreal self. When you have that construction going on in your head, you manifest not good. You manifest harm. You manifest your contribution to all of the evil that is creating so much suffering in the world. So, um, thinking. It requires thinking. <laughs> it, thinking requires thinking about how you think. Get clear, get accurate, get precise. When you communicate, communicate as best you possibly can the truth and don't just you know carve out uh, okay one person works at the United Nations on sustainability and therefore he's a New World Order guy lazy lazy easy oh don't you want to just fall into that it makes life so easy well no and you've had an awful lot of people on the IPCC, uh, scientists and Nobel laureates, and oh, they bought the climate change, uh, global warming, until they didn't. And then they came out and spoke about it, how, you know, it's a fraud. So, and it's, Understand this, I have no, <laughs> there's no um, reason for me to defend anyone. This is not my defense of Jordan Peterson. Yeah, it, when I learned that he did contribute to the United Nations Sustainability Report, I was like, oh God, I don't want to, I don't want to. But it required me to do a lot of thinking. All right, well, what's this about? I don't know. I don't know. So, I can speculate all night long. But it does not have anything to do or should not degrade Jordan Peterson in what he is saying about truth and how important it is in healing the world. Ciao.